In Yemen's war, civilians and the infrastructure they rely on are under attack. Hospitals, schools, markets, power stations, all targets. It seems the rules of war mean nothing here. One night, three weeks ago, this school was hit in an airstrike. The children are determined to hold on to what little they have. They live nearby and thought they were going to die. Mohammed and Yusuf tell me what happened. It was horrible. We were very scared and ran away. I'm so upset. We really want to study, but they destroyed our school. As we travel across Yemen, the airstrikes continue. Yeah. Is there another one? Another one. Mohammed Abdo worked as a volunteer nurse at a hospital until it was hit. He was busy saving lives when the bomb fell. I didn't expect they would hit the hospital. We felt secure. There was shrapnel flying everywhere. I can't sleep now because of the trauma. This is what remains of Ab's hospital where he worked. Run by the charity MSF, more than 150,000 people relied on it. But the Saudi-led coalition airstrike changed everything. 19 people were killed in the bombing. The hospital's coordinator describes the horror of that day. It was, uh, it was quite uh, terrifying. Uh, we had a crater of around two meters deep in the middle of the hospital, the place where everybody passes, the, the emergency room and uh, the, the general consultation area was mostly destroyed. There were body parts everywhere. There were dead people, uh, burnt uh, people. What happened here wasn't an isolated incident, but part of a wider picture where civilians are being targeted in this war. Last year, Britain sold Saudi Arabia more than three billion pounds worth of weapons, including a billion of bombs and missiles. That's why the way this war is being conducted matters. The Saudis say they do not deliberately target civilians. They accuse Houthi fighters of hiding in populated areas. <laughs> Sally al Bakri shows me what the airstrikes did to this market. He says those who lived here were forced to flee. What happened here is an injustice. We are civilians. Nine people were killed in this street alone. The majority of civilians who've died have been killed in airstrikes. There's no escape for those caught in the middle. No one here feels safe. Neil Connery, News at 10, Yemen.